Yeah, I mean, it's kind of surprising because um, a lot of people are like, you know, a lot more into practice than I thought we'd be. I thought everybody would be kind of out of it. But, um, you know, everybody's just real pumped up about coming back this week and recovering, you know, and showing everybody that, you know, we're not out of it. You know, we're still a top contender team. Now, talking about the quarterback controversy, obviously, it's a lot of hush hush about it right now. But, um, you know, we saw Burns come out and we saw the leadership in him and the fans and everything. Uh, what is your opinion on that? I mean, I'm I'm just out there playing receiver. It doesn't matter, you know, who's that quarterback to me. You know, um, whether it be Burns or, or Cox, you know, um, I'm just out to do my part. You know, that's that's really my main focus. You know, just to be a team player. You know, um, whatever works for the team works for the team. But does that, uh, you know, we didn't see the ball get to the wide receivers really, and that was the focus going into last week's game mm -hmm. of trying to find playmakers at the wide out position. And until that final drive, really, we didn't see the ball getting to the wide receivers. What, what are you guys doing there? Yeah, um, I mean, the thing that seemed to be working was, you know, running the ball with, with Cody. So, um, I mean, the receivers all just got together and said, hey, that's what's working. So, you know, we all just stood behind Coach Borges on that. You know, that was what, that's the thing that was working. So, you know, we had to mount up, and you can't you can't get all the balls. You know, you got to go out and make some, some blocks sometimes. <laughs> You know, we all just buckled down and, and went out and made our block. So that's what was working. So that's what we stuck with. So you're willing, I mean, he's going to get more snaps during practice and learn the timing down with throwing and stuff like that, which he really didn't have against State. But uh, he is a running quarterback. That means fewer and fewer opportunities for you wideouts. I'm a team player. I mean, whatever works, whatever gets the W, you know, I'm all for it. Um, you know, if that's what happens, that's what happens. I mean, if the coach is calling the plays, I can't do nothing but run it, you know. Um, then at the same time, you know, the coaches know, you know what, what the receiver expect as a group, you know, also. So, I mean, but, I mean, we're just coming out just trying to be, you know, right now we're not on what we need to be, so we're trying to figure out a way to win. And whatever way, you know, we're trying to do whatever possible to win, whether it be us getting the ball or us just going out making blocks. If we have to block for an entire game to win, then, you know, so be it because right now we're not winning. So, right now we're kind of at the point where, you know, it's whatever it takes to win. Sometimes uh, it, it, when you have two quarterbacks, it can be a, where you can find ways to get things going and, and, and play together. But it can also cause some dissension. How are you guys fighting that as a team and teammates where some of the guys one number 12 in there, some of the guys one number 18, and that can cause some rift. That's, How are you guys fighting that? Yeah, that's, real, that's, real, that's really the big thing about the team. You know, it's, it's nobody who's really like, Take Cody out and put Cox in, or take Cox in and put Cody out. You know, we we sticking together, and that's what that's what's really keeping us focused. You know, at practice because of the, the unity that we have. Everybody's behind who whoever's in the game. You know, it's not like oh, uh, half of the teams with Cox and half of the teams with Cody. You know, it's whoever's in the game. That's who we're supporting. You know, so it's not really a controversy. It's not really anything like who should be getting the most playing time or who's messed up or who's who's the future of the team. It's nothing like that. You know. Um, you know, we're supporting, we're supporting both quarterbacks, you know, as a team, as a whole unit. So um, that's one thing that, that really surprised me today, you know, when we came out. And I was real proud of the whole team for that. Good. Last question from me. Uh, Auburn has lost its swagger. State kind of even said that coming in where they, you know, you guys have pounded them the previous six to seven times. And they were coming in feeling, hey, you guys are at your most vulnerable. Now New Mexico State, normally a team that you would automatically think is a, a, a win, they're coming in off of a nice win for themselves and saying, well, Auburn's not where they're at. Do we have a chance to take them down? Yeah, Talk I mean, about losing the swagger and needing to get it back. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of tough, you know, because, uh, you know, like I said, it was a tough loss, you know, for the past two weeks. Um, right now, we're trying to find the chemistry. And we're trying to find ourselves as a team. You know, we have a real young team. So um, we're just trying to gel things together right now. And, you know, hopefully things will speed up, you know, real soon. Um, I'm not taking anything away from New Mexico State. I looked at a little film on them. They have a pretty decent team. So we're just going to come out and do what we do every week. You know, we're just going to come out and play our game. So um, we're, we're practicing real hard. You know, everybody trying to step up their game this week. Um, young guys are coming along. You know, nice. Um, the old heads are bringing them along. Defense are cranking up the offense. You know, they're jumping on our backs for, you know, little stuff that we normally wouldn't, you know, drop, a drop pass or a fumble ball by a running back. We wouldn't really say anything about the defense jumping on our back about it. So that's they really picking it up, you know, for the offense as well, you know. So um, then we got other guys on the offense who picking it up, taking those leadership roles. So um, 
right now we're just we're just trying to gel together and get the chemistry of the team down. Well, how does that make you feel? The defense getting on you? Guys? Yeah, it makes me feel great. I love it. Um, like I'm, I'm an amp player. I like it. You know, I like competition. I love competition. I'm all for it. So um, I like I like the thought of that. You know what I'm saying? They they out and they they taking care of business and you know I feel that I feel where they're coming from. They want us to do the same thing. So you know they're trying to stay on us about that. And you know the coach is doing the same thing. So. We head in the right direction. Is there a feeling of urgency in practice? Because this is the last so-called tune-up game before the schedule gets really, really tough to, to get things ironed out. Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of it's kind of a sense of urgency, but at the same time you can't go into a panic mode because that'll just you know send everything downhill. So right now we're just trying to keep a cool head about the situation and just stay focused at, on the task, and that's just playing our game.